What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. We're going to be doing another Legends Spotlight. Before we get started, I want to say thank you for all the love. I'm also on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. You can follow me at all of those links in the description. I'm live every Monday through Friday at 2.30. We spend about an hour in just chatting, talking about Apex, talking about whatever you guys want to talk about. Also guys, if you're willing to do so, please check out JStorm, Saucy, and Sneaks. They are all my collaborators in this video. Uh, they were a ton of fun to play with as always. I spend a lot of time playing with them They're all streamers on twitch and I would really appreciate it if you went and checked them out If you do so, please let them know Danny sent you and guys I just want to let you know before we get started that I actually recorded most of this footage Just before the fight night event just before Gibraltar's heirloom came out So I had to go back and record just a little bit of that for you guys and here it is check it out this thing is actually a lot cooler than I expected it to be. It has this awesome glow effect. It's like you're holding a flashlight whenever you're in the dark corners of the map. It has a lot of really cool inspect animations. I think it's actually probably in the running for one of my favorites. There's one pretty cool animation right here where Gibraltar takes off the shield and inspects that instead of the actual heirloom. This thing is really cool. If you guys are interested in watching me whack people with this thing, you can check me out on Twitch. So guys, it's time to talk about everybody's favorite gentle giant. Gibraltar. Gibraltar is the tank of all the legends, a fortified unit with his gun shield and dome of protection allowing him to eat shots and protect his teammates. Realistically, Gibraltar is one of the best legends in the game, if not the best. While he's still very strong in pubs, I feel like it's in ranked where he really shines. His kit makes him a pretty versatile legend in the ways that you could play him. If you're more conservative and want to play a more traditional support role, I suggest running an LMG-SMG combo, potentially the Spitfire and the Volt, that's what I saw success with. That way you can provide some suppressive fire to cover your teammates at medium range and shred up close. Or if you're like me and you wanna get into the action a little bit more, I suggest using an AR such as the R301 or the Hemlock coupled with a Mastiff. The AR still lets you cover your teammates. I typically like to put a two to three times sight on it just because poking at that distance really is where Gibraltar shines as well as up close. While that heavy hitting Mastiff coupled with his fortified and gun shield passive makes him a, an absolute menace. However, while Gibraltar is still very effective up close, and he's able to eat a lot of damage, I don't recommend being the first into the fight. Just because you're so big and you really don't have much movement capability, so you're gonna get focused. In fact, I'm actually gonna say the same thing about Gibby that I said about Lifeline. Rule number one is you absolutely need to be the last person down because you're in the best position to defend your team from a third party while they're resetting after a fight. Plus, you're actually also in a great position to take on that final 1v1 in the fight. All right, so let's break down Gibby's abilities. So I think it's worth talking about Gibby's arm shield at length for a second because in my opinion it's one of the best passives in the game. The shield absorbs 50 damage and coupled with a red shield you're potentially taking 275 damage before you're going down. But that's not even entirely accurate because there is zero damage bleed through. What I mean by that is that if you hit me for 49 damage to the gun shield and then hit me with a Kraber, that one hit point I have left on the shield will eat all 145 damage. So how do you take advantage of this? I mean, it's easy, just aim, kid. It seems really simple, but when you're playing Gibby, just try not to hip fire until that arm shield is broken. I actually think that's probably rule number two. It's one of the most important things you could do. The arm shield puts you at a big advantage in shotgun fights, and after it's broken, it's back in nine seconds. So I recommend you try and lean on that gun shield. I use it at range to try and poke, and as soon as the arm shield is broken, I duck back into the cover, wait nine seconds, get the gun shield back, poke back out, and then do some more poke damage. Next up, let's Let's talk about the dome. Gibby's dome of protection is incredibly important in ranked because it gives you 12 seconds of isolation. That's actually much longer than you think. If somebody wants to third party your fight and you're in the dome, they gotta step in the ring, man. They have to come to you. One of the most important things to talk about here, I think, is the dome fight, where it's you and an enemy legend dancing in and out of that bubble. I think that too many Gibbies give up the dome too quickly to try and fight. I would recommend to you that you play the edge of the bubble so that you could step out if need be, but realistically, most people will come to you. I think that you should wait until they step into the dome, until they make that mistake. Hit them hard with that Mastiff as soon as they poke in. You should be ADS'd right now, having that gun shield out. If they poke in, say with the Mastiff themselves, and they try and pop you, you're gonna take that hit on the chin and you're gonna break their shield potentially. Then just wait for them to pop back in again as that's the mistake that a lot of people make in the heat of the fight, or for them to turn around and try to run to cover. Either way, you control the dome, don't step out to where they could hit you, and you should win the fight. Lastly, the airstrike. 
This one is a little different. I think in pubs, let that thing fly. I like to use it to clean up third parties and the only real counters are another Gibby or a Watson, so I just use it really liberally. In ranked, however, I think you should be carrying some ult accelerants. With the Fight Night event came changes to the final ring, so ring six is now the final one and it slowly closes in on itself over the course of a minute. So this means that you gotta be really patient with that ult, you guys. If you burn it too early, then you potentially have thrown the game. Also, a mistake I see a lot of Gibbies make is they throw their ult into that small final circle and then also throw out the dome. You think you're protecting yourself from your airstrike, which, you are, but in reality, you're protecting everyone else. So you really just wasted your ult. Personally, I believe you gotta just eat the damage and give your team the best chance to outlive the other legends. Throw the ult, if it knocks you, so be it. At least it's decimating everybody else in the circle. And that's it guys. Gibby is one of the best legends in the game in my opinion, and there is potential for some really high damage gains with him. Over the course of recording this video, I actually think I'm becoming a Gibby main. So thank you guys so much for this one. This was a great suggestion. And this was a lot of fun to make one last time i want to let you guys know i stream every monday through friday at 2 30 p.m pst over on twitch please check out my collaborators uh stay through and watch the rest of the video to watch me try and practice what i preach i would really appreciate it leave a comment down below let me know who i should do next i've been putting off octane he's a really simple legend so i don't know if i'm gonna end up doing him next somebody on the caustic video suggested loba i might do her but let me know guys i'm pretty much just listening to you at this point thank you so much for being here i will catch you guys in the next one peace I know we're gonna be coming around this way too. This is actually can chase one, please. I think there's a blue in there. There, yeah, there is. Mm. They're healing. They're healing right here. Get a blue. There's a blue in here. Let's get inside. This is a bad spot yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, stay in here, stay in here, stay in here. The right here, right here. Right here. Right over here. The pad's probably coming up behind you. He's wrecked. Got him. Ah, path on me. Good shit. We don't have time. Oh, that was... I think we just chill right here. Yeah, I think so too. Get back. They're gonna go through that door. This team is the one I'm more worried about. In the back right there. For 72. I can't really they're afford to get hit because I don't have right any now. shields. I have one shield cell on the thing. right here. Bad idea burning the shield. Get to me, get to me, get to me, get to me. We're good right here. No, the airstrike, bro, the airstrike. Get to me, Saucy. Oh my god. No, that's not Saucy, that was me. Oh, my bad. But I got out of range of it though. What? Wow. Instantly. Healing. The Come last back. one's Come right back. there. They're right there. Keep hype. Keep hype. Behind me. Above. There. Oh, God, we should have. Right behind you, right behind you. Where at? No. No, no, no watch, 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 cover, cover. He's seeing him. My damn. Good They're right shit. here. Got him. Good shit, guys. Nice. Good shit. Oh my god, I did very poorly that game, but we played smart.